once again we're doing another Lego model. This year it was a little bit different in the sense that we've got a major rebuild of the house as well. And also it's again quite a big model. We didn't think it would be as big as this. And we were going to build it according to how many red bricks we have. So this is why the height of it is uh, now about 6 foot 6 and 12 foot across. So we thought, well, as we're building a house, we'll build a brick wall and do the fireplace that we've, we've got here in the house, or a similar one at least. Yeah. And we like the idea of uh, Santa being stuck down the chimney as well. Yeah, I mean, we didn't realise how quite how many red bricks we have, but obviously a lot. And then uh, we enjoyed doing the fiddly bits, you know, around the fireplace. And then I really, I like the, the picture on the wall and a bit of detail and the mantelpiece. So we had a few technical problems because of the, the size of the, the model uh, and the weight that we were putting on the wall. So the Christmas tree, for instance, is just over six foot, but it's quite heavy and it was pulling the wall forward. So we actually had to tie it to the curtain rail uh, to make sure that it didn't fall over. And the same with the picture frame. That's quite heavy as well and that put pressure on, on the brick wall, certainly as we got much higher. In the past, you know, we've done a huge array of models. Sometimes we've done actual figures, a nutcracker, which we really enjoyed, then an angel, which we didn't like, or buildings, we've done churches, or we did an alpine resort, and then we've done... Well, yeah, the polar bear was polar quite, a, bear. quite... And that was quite technical. That was, that was my favourite, Our hardest yeah. build, but we did enjoy it. But what I find is like this one, we didn't think it was going to be that special because we, we were pretty tight for time with building and holidays. Uh, but it's turned out really well. And I think the colours, the colour scheme is what works. So red Lego works quite effectively. So the models that have used red and green as well, uh, they were the best ones. So the advent calendar that we did was a green Christmas tree with 24 boxes the different scenes and I, th I really enjoyed that one and it really worked very yeah. well and I, and I think that does make a big difference to the style of, of models that we make and how effective they look. 